Yo, yo, welcome back to the channel. If you're new to the channel, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. I'm outside soaking up the sun. Feel me? It was just reading the Bible. You know, I feel like um, it's definitely a daily habit that I, I've been focusing on. Um, been going back and forth between different Bibles, you know, the King James Version. Right now, I just read the English, easy to read version. Um, I definitely feel like it could be missing some scriptures or, or something like that. But it, I feel like it's better, it's easier to understand. Um, even though I, I'm not saying I can't understand King James Version, I feel like the uh, ESV, ERV put it in a more uh, easier to understand. Uh, it's just easier to understand. Um, but my testimony, why I said I was going to come over here and post about. So, like I said, um, I like literally, so I, I, when I was in school, you know, I used to be a DJ, you know, I was um, literally, I, my, my life changed when I was in college, like my fourth and fifth year of college, my life like changed like overnight, because um, all of a sudden I just, I got the, I think it was my, was it my fifth year? Yeah, my fifth year, I had to stay another year of school because I wasn't really, you know, taking care of business. So, you know, everything happens for a reason. So that fifth year, you know, sparked my growth and, you know, my de desire for, for uh, truth. So my fifth year, you know, I, I spent a lot of time in isolation trying to figure out who I am because I felt like I was too focused on people pleasing and wanting to be liked. Not saying I was doing things to fit in, but I was, you know, focusing on, you know, wanting to be liked by people. But then... Um, I just, I got the desire to stop DJing. Like I, I was, I was just tired of worldly music. Like I, I stopped listening to a lot of music. So, you know, I couldn't really DJ because, um, you know, you really got to stay up to date on the latest music. And I was just like, a lot of this stuff is nonsense. And it, it's an, it's a certain agenda behind a lot of this music. So I was like, I, I um, you know, I, I'd rather just stop. You feel me? I had people hitting me up like, man, you need to come back. You know, you need to come back and DJ. And I was just like, nah, like I just lost the desire to do it. So, you know, I left that. And then, so what was I, what was I next? So the next thing was I used to be, I wasn't a heavy drinker, but it was, um, how could you put it? I would, on, week, on weekends, on weekends, you know, it's a college norm or whatever, you know, to turn up, get a bottle or something like that, go turn up. But, you know, I slowly started to lose the desire to drink. Like, it, it literally, my desire to do these things, my desire to sin, like, was, it started to minimize. Like, I didn't want to, I didn't find pleasure in, in doing it anymore, you know. Um, I lost the pleasure to smoke weed, even though I would still go and do it sometimes. I didn't, I didn't have pleasure in doing it no more, so you feel me? That started to change. Um, I feel like it started to change as I started to read the Bible more and watch sermons and stuff like that. Um, so, and pray more for understanding and growth and all like that. Um, so yeah, I lost the desire to do a lot of things. You know, I used to fornicate, yeah. Um, like sleeping around with women, not like as much, but in high school, definitely. Um, Yep, so, but as my fifth year, you know, I just slowly started to minimize that. You know, I didn't want to do it, like, I would still sometimes feed my flesh, but I, lo I started to lose the desire to it. So, progress until as I got older and stuff, um, how could you put it? I just, my, I want to say, as I started, as I graduated, you feel me? Um, I, I lost the desire to go out to clubs, you know. Oh, it's a, it's a red ant. Yeah. So as I as I graduated uh, college, you feel me? I lost the desire to. I wasn't really a drinker, so any I started to minimize that. But then I would turn to wine, and uh, wine was cool and all, but still. It wasn't, it wasn't all like, it wasn't all that. So then, let's see, what, what was, what was after that? Um, 
Ooh, fifth year. Okay, so then I graduated. Went went to uh, went and got a position at school. Went went and got a position, a job position, and stuff like that. Um, but I was still starting to lose my de- like. I was still like I would compromise. I would compromise. So people would be like, "Man, let's let's go out or let's let's get a bottle or something. Let's smoke." And I would compromise it. But as I'm doing it, I didn't I didn't want to do it. You feel me? Um, it was more on a, like trying to remain, trying to keep those relationships that you know it was it was time to break off so as i was doing that trying to realize that you was compromising which is not good um especially when you when you decided to embark on a new journey in your life and if people can't really understand that then it's like you're, you're meant to cut ties with that um so yeah i was compromising still Still doing, still doing worldly things, man. Which, which I started to, ah, oh, these ants are coming. Which I started to realize was bad. You feel me? Um, so then, where am I going? Where am I going? Now, so fast forward to now. You feel me? Oh no, no, no. I want to say, in 20, 2018, 2018, 2019, um, I started to. I, I, I embarked on a, a journey of uh, abstinence to cleanse myself from the fornication that I, that I indulged in. So, you know, I've been practicing that for almost for a year, a year and like five months now, a year and four months or something. So I'm, I've been doing that. You know, I had a couple periods of doing no fab semen retention. Um, now I'm still on that. And now I've embarked that to change it into a lifestyle rather than looking at it as a as a challenge because I had me doing that like I feel like I was just in the process of eliminating because I would go 50 days or 60 days or 30 days or whatever and then I would relapse because my the mindset that I had with it but me as I started to grow more and more you feel me I I was like there there is no point for this why am I wasting my seed you know my this is my seed has so much power in it why am I just gonna waste it for a temporary for a temporary pleasure? So decided to give that up. So now it's like 30, 40 days so far um, that I that I've been doing that again. But that's that's a lifestyle now. So I'm gonna keep it up until I get married and something like that. But still, even in the Bible, it says you're supposed to abstain from your wife and your husband for you know a certain period of days or stuff like that. Um, but yeah, stop smoking. Just lost the desire for it, man. Um, it just it it didn't it didn't please me anymore. Don't drink. Only thing I was drinking was wine, but I was really never a big liquor drinker. But in the past, high school and stuff like that, I was a little bit in college. But after I graduated, I just didn't find the pleasure in it anymore. Um, I used to covet, you know. I used to covet when I was in. I want to say college a little bit you know not like not envy kind of but like man I wish I had that you know looking at what people had you feel me and now real, realizing um the things I had how how benefit how really I would say how benefit beneficial it was but just realizing you know you the things that I have is benefiting my life and God gave me these things for a reason and they get, he gave them these things for a reason too. So there's no point of me wanting to have the things that they have. You know, if, if I need those things, you know, I'll be given those things. So that was one thing. Um, I was never really a big liar. Um, you, you can ask my OG, like I was probably sometimes, but uh, she knew if she called me or my grandma would call me they know they know that I'm a, I'm gonna tell the truth. Like uh, where y'all at? I'm gonna tell you. You know, it's, I just felt you know. My mom used to tell me all the time. It's you know, if you tell a lie, you got to keep telling lies to 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 keep up keep up keep up the date with the lies you've been telling. So it's like all right, let me just cut that out and just tell the truth, and get it out of the way. Um, what else did I say? A liar, thief. You know, I stole some stuff when I was a shorty. You know. Stealing candy and stuff. Out there. Well, not candy. I was stealing like grandma cookies. I was obsessed with grandma cookies, so I used to, I used to take those from the store. 
um, or just minor things. Yeah. So one thing I didn't put was gluttony. And that was recently just me as I started to become more of a cook and cooking more. I, that's something that I that's something that I started to battle with, you know, having so much food and access, having it right by you, you know, I was to, I would eat more and not because I was hungry, just I just wanted to eat. So I was battling I was battling that hard, you know. I even I fasted to to help break that, you feel me? So that that has ceased now. Um I really eat just one meal a day now or I sometimes eat more, but it's really nothing that's in access. It's really just more if I'm eating a lot, there's a lot of fruit fruit um or like some snacks or something like uh I eat like some cookies or muffins or something like that but I don't eat that much even though you know I'm I'm I, I do a lot of fitness but since I've been doing semen retention and you know uh fasting my, my strength has still increased tremendously so I don't really think that you need to eat an access to get the results that you that you desire because semen retention, guys, definitely will build your strength up tremendously. Um, so, what's another thing that I put? Um, gossip. I really, really wasn't no gossip. You know, I probably said some things here and there, but I, I didn't. I really didn't find pleasure in that as a shorty, anyways. It was more on like if people were talking about something, I would say something. But now I don't really. I rather just be quiet. Um, but you don't get me wrong, your flesh is strong, man. Your flesh, your flesh craves on these things. Your your tongue craves to talk bad. You feel me? I've heard this one quote was like, somebody said it, you know, why is it so hard for you to say something good, but it's easy for you to say something bad. You feel me? Your your flesh, your tongue wants to say these evil things. You you know, it's this nature. You know, you in this you you in this uh you in this earth, you in the earth, you know. Earth is ruled by Satan, even though God is the overseer and the, the, he rules everything, you know. But, you know, Satan got his, his tools and his devices and his spirits that he used to try to entice you to do certain things. Um, so that, what else I was going to say? Um, lies, thief, gluttony. Uh, bad talking, man. That's another another thing that I started to lose the desire for. You know, talking, talking like bad about women, and talking just crazy nonsense. Because um, once I started to read it and realize, you know, how much how much power that you have when you talk. That's why I started to not listen to a lot of worldly music. That's that's something that happened too. I stopped listening to a lot of worldly music because the the message that it had, you know, I started to tell people that nutrition is, isn't just what you eat, it's what you hear, it's what you watch, all of that, you feel me, so I, I started to go on a lot of detox, detoxes from a lot of things, detoxing from music, detoxing from, from food, from social media, you know, a lot of things, and that definitely helped me grow and see and have a lot of discernment of how evil this world was and how much, you know, information and influence that Satan was bring it so then got out of that so now now i listen to like reggae um uh um what's what's his name asa i've had days where you know i would go back i had to delete my old spotify but i've had had days where something was on you know i'm like oh let me listen to this but knowing that i shouldn't listen to it you know like i said your flesh has those desires man so, and I'm saying you're not, you're never going to be sin free. It, it's, you're just striving to be more like Christ. And he gives you the, the ability to see where you lack at. And, you know, you pray on those things to help you better abstain from the, your sinful and fleshly desires. So definitely stop listening to a lot of worldly music. You know, it, I just lost the desire for it. So um, what else I was going to say? Lies. I think I'm missing something. Cover this. Let me see. Got some things. Uh, profanity for one, which you know, God gave me to you know help me stop to do that. You know, um, that's like I say, the power of life and death lies in your tongue. So whatever you're saying is literally manifested. It manifests in the spiritual world before it does in the physical world. Just like how he, cu he cursed the fig tree, 
it didn't happen at that moment, but eventually when he came and checked back, you know, that fig tree was, it was cursed. Um, so then a Dollar Tree, I, I started to rely so much on money, you feel me? Um, just, I was thinking of money, like, you know, it can get me out of a lot of situations, and I didn't, I didn't rely on God for a lot of things, you know, I started to look at money as, as the God, like, man, if I had this much money, I can, you know, I can get out of a lot of things, but, you know, God started to put me in a lot of situations where, um, I had to realize that it's really, it's God who I need, I really don't need this money, you feel me, because even if I have this money, he, you know, he can take it away from me, I can lose it, something can happen, and I still would have to rely on God. You know, money is just a tool, you feel me? It cannot really buy you a lot of things that, that you really need. It can't buy you happiness, joy, peace, you feel me? It might buy you temporary um, states of those, but they, it won't be long, long-lasting. Um, let's see, profanity. Um, what else, what else? Idolatry. Our oh, last one was a uh, drug user. So I've did like acid. I've smoked weed and I've drank lean and I've uh, drank liquor and wine and stuff, stuff like that. But I've, I've I haven't went anywhere past that. Um, but yeah, I've had, definitely had my days of indulging in those things, appealing to my fleshly desires. You feel me? Um, sin is fun, man. That's the only thing about sin. Sin is very fun. You feel me? That's why a lot of people continue to indulge in it because it's it's fun it's fun to the flesh you feel me it's it's appealing it's pleasing to the flesh um but you know sin is at least to death so you have to be aware of that and uh have the ability to not indulge in it so i think i said i think i said one two three four let me see one two three four five profanity fornication flow foolish oh Last one was boosting, which was which was what I'm currently working on now is boasting, um, because if like I got say, man, your flesh that wants to do these things, it wants to boast, it wants to be prideful. You feel me? Um, that's why it's, I I try to uh, you know I, I I do my best to abstain from doing things that are boastful. Um, and what, if I am doing something that might seem as boastful, I give a message with it. Like if I'm doing something like, man, you know, showing my workouts or something like that, there's always a message. My intention is to not be boastful. Um, even though I've had days like today, I was just like, you know, I'm going to take my shirt off when I'm bike riding and stuff like that. But it wasn't really to be boastful. It's really for me to soak up more sunlight. Uh, but I started to notice that. <laughs> You know, women and men were looking and looking at me and stuff like that. But you know, that just you know, hard works. You know, that's that's what happens. You know, and then that melanin dripping and stuff like that. So they might see a resemblance of God when they see me. Praise all to the Most High. So, um, so yeah, I think I said everything, man. You feel me? Now I'm more about just getting the message out there, striving to be more like Christ and be filled with the fruits of the spirits and speak truth, man. Um, really don't have a desire to do a lot of sinful things anymore um and if i do indulge in some th some sins you know i acknowledge and i repent for it because when you be when you get in sin for so long man you you don't see it as sin anymore you start to be shame free of it I meaning you don't see it you don't have shame in doing it and once you don't have shame in doing it anymore you just continue to go down a longer spiral doing you know crazier and crazier things it's kind of like what um it's kind of like with porn. Like if you if you're doing if you're watching that, you wanted to you would start watching crazier things, and that's that's the road you don't want to go down. So you you gotta abstain from it. And once you uh, once you abstain from it, and you you can see like you will start to see how crazy that it was that you were watching those certain things. Um, and that's that's literally how sin is. You will start to you will start to do more and more sinful things because you don't have shame in it. You will still you will you will kill, you know, you will lie, you know, you won't you won't see shame and you will gossip, you know, you will slander somebody, you will covet, you know, because you don't see shame in it. And if you don't see shame in it, you don't think anything wrong, so why not keep doing it? Because it's still it's gonna appeal to the flesh. So your flesh is gonna tell you, let's just keep doing it. It's fun, I'm having fun. You feel me? Um, oh my ankle. So I think that's everything, man. Definitely probably 
I was coming on. I used to come on here, do a lot of YouTube posts, but um, I might I might start to drop some stuff every Tuesday or every now and then, every week or something like that. Um, but I'm really just advocating for people to get in the word for themselves and just get saved. Because I used to, you know, come in here and try to spread a lot of truth. But I'm like, man, there's so much truth in this world. There's so much education in this world. Um, um, how could you put it? What else I going to say? It's uh, like trying to show show how much evil in this world. But it, it's like, it's literally, it's, it's nothing new. It's nothing new. So what's the point of me trying to expose something that's nothing new? You feel me? So now it's more on just... Uh, advocating, advocating to, to get saved and get your soul saved, man, because this world is not going to get any better than what it is now. It's going to get worse. As the scriptures say, and as you can easily see, you know, we got COVID, you know, they're moving slowly to a cashless society, you know, there's um, food shortages, you know, all these things are going, and it could be even worse things, you know, the news, the, the media doesn't, ever, it doesn't show you the truth. It just shows you what they want you to see, you know. But they're not going to show you what's really happening. They're going to show you uh, probably a fraction of what's really happening. So I think that's that's probably about it, man. My testimony. I'm going to come start coming on here and try. I'm going to try. Either I am or not. So I am going to come on here, but it's probably not going to be as frequent. You know, probably every now and then or when I feel... Uh, the spirit leading me to make a video and, you know, just share some kind of information that is valuable. So, you know, repent, get saved, you know, get out here, enjoy the sunlight while you can. Um, don't fear because why? Why fear? Why worry? Like the scripture says, if you're going to pray, you know, you're going to do all these things. Why, why are you going to fear? And don't fear man because man can only kill you. You can't, you can't take your soul. So... Continue to spread truth and spread wisdom, man. We out. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe. Whatever. It don't even matter. As long as you watch it.